Hi, Chris here for Tinkertech and welcome to the channel. Well, today we are going to have a look into the clipboard for Windows 10, especially the improvements over the previous generation. Let's get started now. So the fastest way to go there is to press the window key and I. Then you go to system and you go down to clipboard here. Once selected, you can do a left click on it. Once you are here, you just have to turn it on. If it's on, you can turn it off if you don't want to use it. You have another option than that, which is sync across devices. This will be useful to you, especially if you are using public transport or you have times basically uh, commuting. That's the word I was looking for. And you are looking on your phone, find something that you want to keep or annotations or to send to a loved one. Let's say a nice picture for example. So you can simply copy it and save it in the clipboard and when you reach home you can deal with it, edit the picture, edit the file or if you copy a text just paste it and use it, right? Do note however that you need to be signed in with your Microsoft account for this to work. The other one is very straightforward, it's clear the clipboard if you want to. Simply press here if you have any data. I will come back to here later on to show you how it works. There is another way to do so. So I close this. If you are not familiar with the shortcut, you can either on the start logo here, right click and go to settings. Once you are here, you can go into systems and then clipboard again, right? And if you are kind of a power user, you can press the window key or X and it does the same as the right click. You just don't have to move your mouse. With two fingers, you can simply open this settings, systems and clipboard. Here we are. It's already on because I want to show you that the window key press I is really the fastest to open. So I open a Word document as you can see here. This you will find it in the description down below. There is a link for Microsoft support and details if you want to. And this link here, simply as you can see, when you hover on it, you press Ctrl and you left click and it will open the video that I will be speaking about now, which is how to use the snipping tool for more details if you want to. Okay, And those here are the details that you can find in the link here. All right, as you can see, you have a lot to go through if you want to. I will, let's say, copy this. I highlight it. There is a few ways to copy. You can right click and copy. Once this is done, I can create a new Word document with simply like so. I press Ctrl and N. All right. And once I'm here, Ctrl and V, I have only this. But if I press window key and V, I have what I copy here. So let's say I want to copy this. This, how do I do? Well, I can use the shortcut or I can simply click here. If you want to find out, I did, as I did say earlier, look in the link down below, you have the description for this video. So I press new. I just select this. All right. And if I press again, the window key and V, you can see I have this. So to paste it is very simple. I just select the Word document, leave a space, it will be better. If I press Ctrl V, I will have now what I just copy, which is this one. I will copy, let's say, with a snipping tool, I create a new one and I copy the screenshot here. Like this, I have more than just a few. Let's say I want to put the Microsoft logo that I copied earlier before pasting the snapshot that I just took. So I press again, once I'm in Word, Window key and V and press here. Note that now if you do Control and V, you won't have this because we use this. So you have Control V and now you can paste. Right, I put on the full screen and you can see there is a Microsoft logo and so on and so forth. So that's about it for now. I'm not going to save this, but basically what you can do, uh, let's say I have uh, an address, okay? 
So, this is my uh, address. Alright. And now I will tell you why I do this. Okay, so street one, whatever. You know what I mean. You can copy this with a control and C for copying or the right click and copy. Huh? Okay, so this is copy already. Now I press my window key and V and here I am. Okay, you can see I have the address here. And what you may have noticed is that the list go down, all right? So you have for your knowledge, you have up to 25 items that you can store in the clipboard. However, if by any reasons a window crash, your computer turn off or you restart the computer, this will be clear off. Right. That's when those three buttons here, you can see delete, you can read what it says, pinned or clear all. This is the other option that I was saying earlier. However, you can clear all if you simply, as I did say earlier, restart your computer. Now, if I do like so, I pin it, this one here, okay, and I close, I don't save this, all right. Uh, this one, I close it also, and I will close this one as well, all right. Yes, I will close all the tabs. If I press the window key and V, this is still available here. And you notice that I have two instances here. One is pin, the other is not pin. So if I do clear all, you can notice that because I pin the address, I will have the address. And you will remain here permanently until I press the three dots here and delete it. As simple as that. So you can see how practical and convenient this is. If you know, for example, you have to fill in a form with uh, your email address and it's very long or maybe you want to put your password, but I don't advise you for security reasons to do so, but you may want to do that. You can, if you want, do that. Although, as it says, it's not secure. Moving on, you can see that this is very, very convenient. I hope this video was useful to you and you will do your YouTube things, you know, like if you want to, Subscribe, you can as well, or press the bell icon if you want to be notified every time I make a new video. However, if you do not like this video, simply leave a comment down below and tell me why so. Bye now guys! Stay safe!